Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're going to talk about a brand new application that's made by Samsung, and it's called Theme Park. Now, in a nutshell, Theme Park is a way that you're able to create your own themes. Now, if you go through the Samsung store, you notice that there's a lot of different themes you're able to choose from, but this is a way that you're able to create a theme based on your main lock screen or home screen image. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to the person who first let me know about this application or this new update inside of GoodLock, and it comes from Jeff Martinez. Now, earlier this morning, I got another email from David Pointer, and I also got a tweet letting me know, hey, did you guys check out this brand new application? So this one is a highly requested video uh, and it just came out yesterday. So let's get a look and dive right in. So I have two different phones in front of me here and that's only because with this phone over here, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I am running the brand new Android 10 update. So there's a lot of good lock options that are not there. But you can see over here when you switch over into family, this is where the theme park option is. Now, when I go inside of my Galaxy S10 over here, running the regular Android 9 operating system, you can see that I have all of the good lock options and also theme park is sitting inside of the family applications. So you can see here that we're inside of an application that is called GoodLock, and this is one of the ways you're able to download Theme Park. Now, the other way you are able to do this one is on the top right hand side when you're inside of your application tray. If you go inside of Galaxy Essentials, you'd be able to search for Theme Park and you can find it. Now, if you are running on Android 10, which I am right over here on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, uh, GoodLock is not really made for Android 10 yet. So inside of GoodLock, there's a lot of applications missing. And even when I search for Theme Park, it will not show up. Uh, even if I was to search for GoodLock, I can't even find GoodLock. I just happen to have the application before the update happened. So really what you wanna find is Theme Park, which you can find in the Galaxy App Store. You can also find it inside of your GoodLock application. Now, if you're trying to download GoodLock and you're not able to find it, that means you're outside of the United States or outside of select countries. The only way you're able to get GoodLock on your phone if you're not able to find it is by downloading a VPN and hiding your location to where it doesn't know where you are. So with that out of the way, now that you have good luck on your phone or you went through the Galaxy Essentials and you downloaded Theme Park, now you just wanna open up the application and this way I'm going through good luck here. Head over into Family and you just wanna go down and hit on Install. Now we'll install it and we'll start from fresh over here, but I do wanna let you know what it looks like when you have a theme. So for example, you can see that my image here, there's a little bit of red, some pinks, some rosy colors, uh, and that's really what's gonna come out with this little theme. Now there's a lot of different customizations you can do. So when I pulled this down, you can see it's kind of burgundy, a little pinkish rosy color, uh, and that's what it's gonna look like right there. And you can change that if you want to. Let's say that we go inside of a text message. You can see that it carried over over there. Uh, inside of the screen here, it also looks a little different. You have that accented color right there. Uh, and the cool thing about it is that when you actually create a theme, when you go inside of your themes, you can find the ones that you've created. So I created these three here, this black and white one, this rosy kind of colored one, and this one has colors of blue and red. So if we go over here and then we can even scroll through and see what it looks like, you can see that there's gonna be a lot of blues and then reds, and that's because of the blues and the reds right there, and you can also apply it. So moving that one out of the way, let's start from scratch right over here. Uh, mine will be sitting inside of the GoodLock application. So we go inside of Family, click on Theme Park, and then this is where we go to install. Once it's now installed, you hit on open. It's gonna take you inside of here. And the reason why it's asking you for storage is because it is using images from your files that you choose. It does have to have the ability to access your storage. So just hit on allow. Now you're inside of Theme Park. On the top right hand side, you can see the ones that you've created and then you can learn more about the app. Now, because I did not create one yet on this application, I don't have my themes there yet. So we're gonna go through and let's just kind of find one. So I'm gonna scroll down and let's go through these wallpapers here uh, and let's go with this Spider-Man. So because of what I chose, uh, there's gonna be some reds and some blues. And you can see down over here, there's reds and some blues. You have three different tabs. You have color, style, and icons. Uh, as you scroll through here, you can see what it's going to look like in the different screens. 
Now, uh, let's see, if we move over here, you can also change or crop your home screen, and you can also change or crop your lock screen. Now, the one thing is that if you do go into this red thing, and let's say that you go to change, uh, as you go through and you change it, if you go to this one over here, you hit on okay, it's gonna change the entire theme of what everything is gonna look like. So you have blacks, reds, magentas, and everything else. So let's put it right back over into Spider-Man. So now that we are back with Spider-Man, here's a few things you wanna look at on the screen. You have three different tabs on the bottom. You have your main color, you have your styles, and it's gonna show you a whole bunch of different colors and the style it's gonna create. And then also you can change a little bit of what your icons look like. Now also on the top right hand side, this is where you can make it to where it's a little bit larger of a screen. So if you wanna have a little bit closer look of what it looks like, or if you wanted pretty much the whole look in one screen, you can look at that way. And you also have the save icon. Now, anytime that you change these main colors, you're gonna change the entire style. So for example, let's say that we stick with this very first color, which is a red color. You can see that red sticks out pretty much everywhere. And then when you click on style, you can see that it'll have a bunch of different styles you can use. So this one looks pretty cool. You kind of have a darker red, a brighter red. You have a little bit of blues in there. So you, it's kind of picking up everything that's sitting there. Now let's say that we head back to the main color and we make it just a little bit darker. So now with this middle option here of black, we hit back over into style, you can see <laughs> a pretty drastic change. And so now you kind of got a big black background there. You have uh, reds and uh, you know bright reds, dark reds, things like that. And then this is where you can also change your, your icon style. So for the icons themselves, you can change the color of them if you want them to kind of be blue, if you want them to be red. Uh, and then also too, let's say that we move back, there's a tray that's, you, if you want, that sits behind it and it changes the color of the tray in the background. So now you can see that there's a lot of blues and then now you can see that's a little bit more of a pinkish color. But then if you don't wanna have any type of a tray sitting behind it, you can just turn it off. So you can see how there's a, a quite a big change in the background there. And so now that we took away the tray, if we go back to the icons, then now you can change some of the colors of the icons. So you can kind of see, you know, kind of how fun this could be. Uh, and then also with the labels, you can change the colors of the wording below it. So if you want them to be black, if you want it to be white. So because there's a lot of reds and stuff, white is gonna probably be the best one uh, for the labels. So this is really pretty much about it. Just kind of go through, play around with some of the colors. If you want your blue to be the main color, you can make blue be the main color. You can go through and you can change kind of what all they look like. Um, this one, okay, we're, we're gonna go with this one here. This one looks pretty cool. So now that we've done that one, we hit on save. So now as this one saves, you just have to put in a name. So let's just call this one, uh, Spidey Blue. There we go. And then now it's going to also install the theme if you want it to. Uh, you can go inside of your theme store and you can see this one that is sitting there, which this is pretty much where it takes you to. So this is the themes. This is all of the themes that you have. Uh, here's your high contrast and here's all the rest of them. And once you have it created, you have to actually click on it and then hit apply. And then once you actually apply it, then now you just installed what you just created. So this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Some of the colors of the icons have changed, the wording has changed, your colors on the very top has changed. When you go inside of your messaging or also your phone dialer, you'll also see that it changes there too. Now, if you do want to switch it back over to a different theme, just click on themes and then click on your little person icon, and then you can check out all of your themes that you have, that you've downloaded, that you've created. They're all sitting here. Now let's say that you wanted to make a new one. All you'd have to do is just go right back over inside of your application. So let's go back inside of Goodlock, and then you go back right over inside of Family. This is where the, the theme park is. And so inside the theme park, I'm gonna create a brand new one. So this time let's go back down, uh, and let's try some of these yellows and oranges. <laughs> and so this one is gonna be quite a bit drastically different uh, than what you've seen from before. So this kind of looks like fall colors, um, you know, with these ones here. And it kind of makes sense because it's a little bit of Halloween, so it is a little bit of fall colors. Uh, and so let's say we wanted to make this one be the main color, maybe this one be the main color, head back over into different styles. And so you can kind of see, you know, what you're able to do. I'm gonna keep all the icons the exact same. And this one right here, I'm just gonna call fall. Yeah, I don't know. Now, once it's done and installed inside of the themes, you just wanna go here and then to apply it to your device. And then once again, what you'll see here is I didn't make any changes to any of my icons. So none of them has changed with colors and trays and things like that. So this is what this one will look like. 
When you pull down to the very top, you're gonna see different colors again. So that one's gonna be a little bit darker of a blue. You can go inside of your phone dialer, text messaging, and things will also change there as well. So this was just a fast, kind of a fast video talking about a brand new application called Theme Park. It's where you're able to create new ones. It can save it into uh, your themes itself. You can delete them, do whatever you want to, change them, and really just kind of customize your phone the way that you want it with your particular background you choose. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.